talking about the, the land rights, the land rights action, uh, and how we're ever since I was, I was a child, I've always heard about our, our leaders and my family and everybody in the community about uh, filing filing the land rights, and we've always heard about uh, lease on uh, Syracuse and. Uh, all, all the history, and it was all kind of uh, mixed up in there between family talks and doing ceremonies. And uh, you know, my my, my uh, uncle uh, was a previous Tarodaho, so I knew I was heard about uh, all the discussion that was that was going on in council, and they would come into the into our homes and in our families and talking about. Uh, one day, I guess one day uh, going to court and, and uh, seeing if we can uh, seek justice uh, in, in the system of uh, that, uh, that we don't have much, uh, I guess, I don't have much faith in uh, myself because we know we're not, we're not really part of that system. Uh, so it was a, a night. We, we've heard about this, and I'm sure Audrey, all her life has heard about uh, filing and, and going into court. So it was, it was a big, it was a big decision that, that I've heard all my life, and I guess, I guess it was time. I, I hope it was time to do this. We had up, uh, I think, some of the things that that uh, pushed us, or, or. Uh, Kind of persuaded us to uh, to file this, and not so much for uh, I, I guess not for damages, but just seeing what was going on in the in the world, more or less, and, and with all the with the with the problems with the environment, and here with uh, with the Onondaga Lake and our struggles over there, and all the, uh, the uh, their solutions to uh, to clean it up or. And, and I guess not being part of that, and not, we're always, you know, always say, well, it's it's Onondaga Lake, it's, uh, but we should be involved in it. We're Onondagas. That's uh, water. It's important. There's medicines there. There's 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 fish there. The animals use this. Uh, our people used to use this. Uh, we sh we should have some kind of. Uh, input into uh, our environment, as everybody should. So, and I guess that's what kind of pushed our, our leaders to say that maybe we would, it would give us a voice in some of these uh, uh, kind of catastrophes that are going on in our, in our environment, in our waters, in our lands, and in the air, <clears throat> in the air that we breathe. We've always had these concerns. Uh, we look at the health of our people, uh, the things that our elders had that they talked about that we don't have, that we don't do. Uh, we, we hear about all their uh, spear and fish and uh, the things they used to do in the, in the creeks and up, and up along. And I have uncles who <clears throat> used to uh, trap into the swamps. I hear of them stories. And those things are no longer done, and that's 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 change. You know, that's change with our people, our uh, what we do, how we how we uh, we get into the into the workforce, and now we're part of we're all part of that workforce too. We're uh, getting away from our our uh, planting and some of the farming. So you know, we're we've changed a lot too, but we've always tried to maintain uh, some of our our ways, our beliefs, as much as we could, and tried to pass that on. Uh, trying to uh, retain retain our language, Onondaga language. We have a few elders left that still speak fluently. And we, we have a series of uh, language programs on the nation, as in all the nations uh, across New York and Canada, uh, as far as the Haudenosaunee are trying to save these languages. So, and I think we, uh, we kind of did this for, for the uh, 
just the way things are going in, 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 the, in, the, uh, in the world. So when we talk about, when, I, when we give thanksgiving and when we, when we uh, mention all the things that have given to us and we, and we ask for things at certain times, but that's for, for everybody. It's not just for us. And everybody, everybody has that right to, to, uh, to drink clean water, breathe clean air, and to be able to have uh, a, good, a good place and a good healthy place to live. And that, should, that should be everybody's concern. And, uh, and if it was a way of uh, addressing some of these things, of where we can be heard and where we can educate, and, and we can learn too. And we can learn how to, can we fix these things? Can we do better things in the future? Do better ways, better, there's always, there's always uh, room to learn and, and what we teach our, our younger people in the future. So I think uh, a lot of that was all, all these years of uh, hearing the leaders talk about uh, when this time would come. And, and we use it as a, as a healing. And I say, when we, we wanted to do something different than just uh, looking for damages. And if we can educate and, and start, maybe change, change the minds of this, uh, this small area here, then I guess it, I think it's worth it to, uh, to try and do that. How successful we are is, is all depends on, on everybody, not just uh, we don't put it all on one on all one person, but we all have to we all have to be to start doing things differently and and uh, thinking about things differently. What's important? What's what's the future going to be? So as as a, uh, as a as a chief, given that duty to to look, to look out for the, for those what, the, what we call the, the faces that are still beneath the ground, and that's the, uh, the future and the children.